missed you. I missed you more. This isn't over. You hear me? You hear me? Hey! So should we be going to Hollow Point or straight to Old Haven? I mean, they know where we're going. Maybe we should just meet them there. Well, I guess we could just meet them in Old Haven, you know, get a head start, or we could always just go to Hollow Point, though that might be dangerous. Man, this is a big decision. <laughs> it's weird, but I, I always, uh, you know, talk to myself during, you know, huge choices. It's just something I do, and I, I know it's just... You know, super important. I, I'm not talking to you. I'm, I'm talking to me right now. So, anywho, probably should just choose something. Well, that's. We'll meet them at Hollow Point. Then we'll go together, like a family. Sounds good. To Hollow Point. Okay, I'm sorry! It was just to keep Vasquez off of us! Like I said, I would never betray you, bro! Do you forgive me? Just say yes! Because I feel like super bad right now, bro! Not even worried about it, bro! Man, I'm so relieved to hear you say that, bro! I knew you'd never betray me, bro! Never, bro! Never! Thanks, bro. Hey, we're bros, bro. That's bro, bro. Bro! For bro. Bro, bro. Bro, 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 are you done? Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Unbelievable. I got one. We should probably let him finish. Fine. I'm curious. Why would you choose to go to Hollow Point? What was there to gain? I'm growing impatient. Well, despite what you might call a lack of skill, I've moved up through the ranks at Hyperion fairly quickly. Straight to the middle. And I've been able to do that because of one thing. And one thing only, loyalty. As evidenced by your former boss trying to kill you. We all have our reasons. I suppose yours are good enough. If they were, we wouldn't be here. A man can only take so much. Luckily, you're a safe distance from a man. <laughs> we were stranded in the desert. You had a car. <laughs> Did you even consider coming to get us? We had our own... One of you will have to change a tire. will be okay. I'm sure they'll figure something out. Probably. But, um, the Badlands are practically a graveyard. If they're smart, they have a chance. I'm not convinced two Hyperion desk jockeys know the first thing about survival in the Badlands. 
All they have to do is find a shelter and build a fire. They're dead. With a caravan like this, we couldn't help them if we wanted to. I hope they'll fix it. We're not exactly rolling in cash right now. How are you gonna get him to do it? I mean, I'm assuming it's not exactly a charity. And we definitely cannot get out of here if we don't get this fixed. Oh, please. This is me doing this. Nothing I can't handle. Okay, don't get too cocky. We'll figure it out, don't worry. Stay here. I'll do the talking. Wouldn't have it any other way. Leaving me out like this. I almost feel sorry for the poor sap. Almost. Scooter must have connections at Dalcorp. Alright, carry the three to five by twelve. Ah, uh, what the hell, man? I gotta cut down my wrench budget. Uh... Oh, hey, man! Welcome to Scooter's Catch a Ride! What can we do for you today? Uh... Sorry if I seem a little dis distracted. Uh, hopefully handing this place over to the new proprietor today and I gotta get all these numbers and stuff in order. No, it's a lot. I don't know if you know this, but the transition from small... My ride's... trashed. Think you could help me out? Oh crap, man. That girl's not looking too good. At least I'm assuming it wasn't designed with that whole, uh, you know, hole thing in the inside there. Can you fix it? Hey, man, that's what the sign says I do, don't it? No, seriously, does it? I can't, I can't remember what I put on the new billboard. Point is, I can fix her up for you, yeah? <laughs> Holy crap! I knew I recognized this rig from somewhere. You were in the latest Bossin' Over Death Rally. Oh, I was there, man! Did you see me? I was, I was waving. You were a badass. You watched the latest Bossa Nova Arena Death Race thing? Winner. Badass. That thing's beat up to hell and back, man. I can fix it, but it's probably gonna run you about 2,500 cold. 2,500? Uh, that's a little out of my price range. Not to be implied or nothing, but you must have won a buttload of money from that race, right? Where did it all go? Oh, cuz my cousin, right? He said that his sister's friend's neighbor's husband won one of them races one time and the cats kept them fed for weeks. Yeah, someone stole it. Can you believe that? Yes, actually. Yes, I can. Well, tell me this. You think you could ever see yourself racing again? Let me pitch you something, and it might be crazy. But if you keep racing, I would love to endorse you as a sponsor. What do you say? It'll be great. Maybe like a billboard, a couple of commercials, product placement. Tell you what. Throw in an extra thousand bucks and you've got yourself a deal. Thousand? Wow, man, that's kind of a hard bargain, don't you think? Call it a signing bonus. Oh, I, I don't know, man. That kind of thing makes me a little uncomfortable. Say it once for me, man, you know? The catchphrase, catch a ride, you know it, come on, don't be shy, I'm your sponsor now, gotta hear how you do the catchphrase, go on do it, catch a ride, mm, okay, okay, thousand bucks, it's yours, but you're gonna have to win like a crap load of races, alright, I ain't made of money, man, I'm thinking that we put a big old ad on your van, you know, like maybe a picture of me with like, catch a ride up above it, you know, all cool, right? I'm looking all badass for you to put some badass pictures of you with your car and your hat and all that. Hi, Scooter, right? Everything going okay? 
I was, uh, I was just gonna, you know, go grab the paperwork. Let me take care of that. Okay, bye. All right, man. Here's my standard endorsement contract. Don't mind the sub clauses about uh, explosions and whatnot. I might have copied it from Torg. Anyway, I figure as long as I'm in there and you're yeah, doing it for free, maybe you want to splurge and get some of the special packages. I got some good ones. And don't tell me you're broke because I know you've got that extra thousand I just gave you. I know it's a big decision. You, you go ahead and take your time. A lot of good choices, I know, I know. Real classy ones too. Sometimes I just stand here and, and stare at him, you know? I know how it is. That one would look badass as hell. That is some fine taste, man. Like a treat for yourself and for me getting to do it. Can't wait. Come on in, man. We'll get her all hooked up and get to work. Oh, crap. This doesn't look good. Hey, fellas, what can I do you for? Oh, no. I just hope that little deal you two struck is enough to get him to look the other way. Scooter won't turn us in. You don't know that. We don't even know what the reward is this time. You just gotta have some faith, Sasha. Though maybe pressing him for that extra cash wasn't the greatest idea. Out of teach him. Hope you ladies weren't too scared. Just doing my duty to keep ruffians the crap out of my garage. I'm a real protector type. Thanks. Hi, hey man, it was no big deal. Proper man ain't gotta turn in two nice seeming ladies. You might be murderers or some crap, but you ain't tried to murder me yet. <laughs> but seriously, please don't try to murder me. Seems like there's some bad men looking for you two, though. You got a place to lay low while I'm getting your ride all fixed up? I don't think Felix is too far away. If we're careful, we can make it on foot. Then, let's do it. 